Hey, welcome to Stray Reviews. I'm Lee, and today we are going to take a look at this sweater right here that is draped upon my body. <laughs> it's the Wellen Seawool Fisherman's Sweater. And since this video is part of the Huckberry series, uh, you can already guess, Wellen is a Huckberry in-house brand which means that it can only be found at Huckberry.com. Now, the interesting and unique thing about this sweater is that it is actually made partially from recycled plastic bottles found in the ocean or floating on the ocean or both and pulverized oyster shells. Now, the marketing behind the seawool sweater is that it will keep you warm without uh, overheating you so it has uh, temperature regulating qualities and that it is quick drying and antimicrobial somehow uh, to keep you fresh for all day wear fresh for all day wear now as of this recording the Wellen Seawool Fisherman sweater sells for $148 now the biggest question that I had about the sweater is can a sweater that's made out of recycled plastic bottles and oyster shells actually be comfortable? Because if you ask me on a cold winter's day, putting something on that's itchy or uncomfortable really stinks because it's cold, your skin is dry, and everything makes you itch. So I just had to know if sea wool, recycled plastic bottles and oyster shells, uh, actually comfortable. I mean, I know we're trying to save the oceans here, but is this just marketing hype? Well, today we are going to take a look at the good, the bad, and the bottom line of the Wellen Sea Wool Fisherman sweater. Hey, but before we jump in, would you please do me a big favor? It would mean a lot to me if you would hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. It really helps out the channel and helps other people find videos just like this. So first off, I'm 165 pounds, don't judge, and I'm five foot eight. And so I have chosen to take a small. Now, the website does say, take your normal size sweater, which for me would normally be a medium. If I was to pick up a sweater from something like J. Crew, uh, I wouldn't even think about it. I'd just grab a medium and uh, I'm sure it worked out just fine. But the Huckberry product website does recommend taking your best fitting sweater, measuring it, and then using those measurements to decide which size you want to take based on the sizing chart on the product page. So based on those measurements, I took a small, it fits great. So I would recommend if you're not quite sure what size to take, or you really want to make sure you get a good tailored fit, go ahead measure your best fitting sweater and then measure that against the sizing chart on the product page and order your size based on that. It's worth the extra five minutes it takes to measure your sweater. Now this sweater has a lot to like, but I've got to get this out of the way. I've got to answer the big question that you might be asking and that I was asking, does a sweater made out of recycled plastic bottles, is it comfortable? The answer is yes. I was pleasantly surprised by how soft this sweater was. Now, disclaimer, it's no merino wool, all right? It's not that soft. It's not like wearing a jersey t-shirt or a merino wool sweater. Uh, it's not that, but I did manage to wear it around the house for a few hours without a t-shirt underneath and I didn't die. In fact, I have worn and own a lot worse. The other thing in the good column is that it is a really great looking sweater. In fact, I've worn it out a couple times now and I get compliments whenever I wear it. It's a great looking sweater and it's comfortable. And bonus, I'm recording this during winter time. It's also warm. So what about the bad? There's gotta be bad things about the Well and Sea Wool Fisherman sweater, right? Well, there's actually very little to complain about here. I mean, first of all, it's a sweater. It's hard to get a sweater wrong. I mean, when I wore it around a little bit without a t-shirt, I did sweat a little, so I'm not sure exactly how effective the temperature regulating 
uh, fabrics are, but I did sweat a little. But let's be honest, I always wear a shirt underneath my sweaters. I never go out <laughs> with a sweater without at least a t-shirt or a collared shirt underneath it. So the point of that is kind of moot. And the other bad really is, I, I, I think that $148 is a little steep. I think sort of baked into that price is this idea that, you know, we're supposed to feel good for buying something made out of recycled plastic bottles. Uh, we're helping to save the ocean. Therefore, we're okay spending $148 on this. So that's just my opinion though. 148 bucks is a little bit steep. You might think that that's cheap. You might think $148 is cheap for a nice sweater. And if that's you, awesome. More power to you. In fact, put in the comments below, <laughs> how much are you willing to spend on a sweater? What's the most expensive sweater you've ever bought? I want to know because maybe I'm way off base. Maybe I'm just old. I'm an old Midwestern guy who's kind of cheap, but maybe uh, I just need to learn. I need to know. I need to be educated. So go ahead and put down <laughs> in the comments below <laughs> what you're willing to spend for a sweater. So the bottom line is this. The bottom line is that the Wellen Seawolf Fisherman sweater, it does what it claims. They have somehow managed in the form of this new fabric that they have dubbed Seawolf to make something that's comfortable out of oyster shells and recycled plastic bottles. It's comfortable, it's good looking, it's warm. It's a great sweater. And if you are interested in taking a look at it yourself, there is a link down below. That's an affiliate link. It helps out the channel. It doesn't cost you anything to use. And uh, let me know what you think of it if you happen to pick one up. And that is all I've got for the Seawolf Fisherman sweater. We will catch you next time.